Can you use video games to change a person's mind? Can you use video games to alter behaviours in the general population? But what about the prison population? Those are the questions that I'm asking, and that is what this project is aimed. The Offender Rehabilitation Project is quite simply stands for VIGA, and it is a research project aimed at bridging the gap between these two different concepts. In order to understand offender rehabilitation, we look at the main philosophies behind prisons. They are a place of punishment, they are a symbol of deterrence, but more importantly, they are a place where people are released back into society as reformed individuals. This reformation process is what we call offender rehabilitation and borrows itself on the disciplines of psychology, of social work and criminology and responds to the individual's own level of their risk of reoffending, their identified a treatment needs to address in order to reduce reoffending, and how to best deliver this intervention in an engaging and educative manner. Offender rehabilitation explores the realms of the cognitive, the motivational, the emotional, the social and health related behaviours and looks at how we can deliver this intervention that the offender can grasp these concepts and also practice the skills required and then engage with other offenders in constructive and pro-social environments. So where does video games fit in with all this? We already know that video games are a mainstream form of entertainment and they are available on your mobile phones, in schools, they are at homes, they are in businesses, they are in retirement villages and hospitals, so it should be no surprise that they are also in prisons. And just as in offender rehabilitation, recent research has shown in video games that have effects and benefits in the emotional, the cognitive, the social, the motivational and health related behaviours and also in addressing and using in educational concepts in teaching maths and English and literacy and history, also in physical rehabilitation through the use of motion control games and even specialised video games have started to become developed around cognitive behavioural therapy in aiming at improving mental health and developing emotional intelligence. This figure research project is bridging the gap between these two concepts and exploring how video games already in prisons can be addressed and used more effectively for both the offender and the taxpayer in a way that is beneficial for the individual and the greater community. Thank you.